What's up guys? <laughs> hope you're doing well. And if you're not, I hope that you are maintaining the right attitude, the gratitude attitude. Because remember, there's always two ways to look at things. I know that's easy for me to say because I am blessed. I'm extremely blessed. But we deal with a lot of people going through a lot of crap. And from experience, I can tell you there's always two ways to look at it. But back to the topic at hand today for this video, and that is serving other people. This has been a message that's been on my heart for the past couple weeks, and it's been so powerful. I'll tell you how it, uh, how it came about. About two weekends ago, we, me and my sister and my brother were getting ready to go to church. We were running a little late, a little behind time, and my sister, as I'm making my coffee, my sister asked me, Nathaniel, can you make me a cup of coffee? And in that moment, there was something in me that got a little frustrated. And I didn't want to make her a cup of coffee. I was like, Emma, we're running late. I don't want to be late for the music. I don't want to be late for church. You know, I'm going to church to try to improve myself, right? But in that moment, something struck me. And that was, wow, Nathaniel, you're missing the entire point. Here is your sister trying to, she's just asking you for a favor. And but realistically, I didn't want to. I didn't want to make her a cup of coffee, and I am not. I'm not happy about that. And I decided that I want to want to make her a cup of coffee. And this cup of coffee is just uh, symbolic to all other things in life, whatever it is, whether it's you know helping your mom clean up the kitchen or helping a friend out in their time of need. This act of serving others is so powerful and I th there's something sick inside me that has a hard time wanting to serve others genuinely wanting to serve others I don't know what I don't know what it is it's a weakness of mine but I decided from that day forth that I am going to look for opportunities to help other people you know you can rationalize anything and I in the, the past couple of years you know doing the raw bras I pretty much do I, I do whatever I want, whenever I want. I'm very free. I, I'm my own boss. I don't have anyone giving me orders. But there's something dangerous about that, and that's because that you can become very self-centered in that type of lifestyle. Anyone can become self-centered. It's just such an easy, um, it's such an easy trap to fall into. But I tell you something, that it is far more rewarding to give than receive. Jesus Christ Himself said that. And and I and ever since that day, I, I I have felt guilt. I felt remorse for not wanting to help my sister make a cup of coffee. And I was just thinking, like, wow, you know, if some, what if something happened to you? What if something happened to my sister? I would I would probably beg God to bring her back so I can make her a cup of coffee. <laughs> so why wait? Why wait for that moment? And why not look for opportunities to serve other people? So this is my challenge to you guys, is to start looking for opportunities to give, give your time, give your energy, give up, sacrifice things to help other people, to really show them that you are concerned with their life. And, you know, I kind of, over the past couple of years, I've been in the mentality like, oh, I can't, I can't give beyond my capacity because then... I'm going to just resent the other person for helping them out anyway, so I know they don't want that from me, and I, don't, I know they don't want me to give them something when I genuinely just don't want to do it. But this, what I'm going, I'm going to st a, a level deeper here, and that is that you, you have the choice to be happy about giving to someone or to uh, not be happy about it. And this practice is really look for other opportunities, look for, go about your day looking for opportunities to serve other people. And, and try to be happy about it, be joyful about it. What, and you know, it's, um, it's been so powerful. Just the past week I've been doing this, and I'll tell you what it does, is it takes you out of your little bubble. It takes you out of your self-centeredness. And when you, especially when you're going through a hard time, whoa, the best way you can get through that obstacle is to help other people. Try to find someone going through this, to, through a similar circumstance and and try to help them out. Because when you when you become so focused on your world and your problems, you become you get in this little bubble. And 
when you start really engaging in other people's problems, start becoming genuinely interested. Tell, ask, ask your friend. You know, I was hanging out with my friend the other day. And I asked him, "Hey, man, what what are some struggles you're going through right now?" And he told me about them. And I was genuine. I was just trying to get into his life, you know, his story, so I could find ways to encourage him and do whatever it takes. So, guys, this week I challenge you. A week challenge every day for a week. Look for opportunities to joyfully give and serve other people. It could be taking a friend out to lunch and just hearing them out. It could be going on a hike with your sister. It could be helping your uh, offering to help your parents clean the kitchen. Off, just offering your service. Just really looking for that. And I have a feeling that you will be you will be experiencing much more joy in your life because of it. Respond with your feedback. I'm curious what you guys have experienced with this type of mentality and how it's affected your life. And if you want more videos like this, hit the like button on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's plenty more of this where it came from. Alright guys, see you later.